stands out about the way you guys played given the circumstances? Uh, good effort, but, you know, came out to win and um, came up short. Made some stu- I made some stupid plays down, down the stretch, but uh, I was proud of how these young guys fought. Coach, the coach mentioned you dinged your knee. How are you feeling physically? Uh, wasn't great. The whole second half was a little, t- a little tight, but um, I don't know. I guess we'll see tomorrow. You know, I mean, I don't have the luxury of, you know, resting guys right now. Alex? Hey, Blake. Nice jacket. Thanks, uh, just to start off, I mean, you know, you've, you've played with Langston and James before, so you kind of had a better scouting report on some of the newcomers and maybe some of the others, but just these guys that you haven't played with, I mean, you know, are you just kind of going off of what you remember from playing against them before or uh, this, what, the, what the scouting reports say? How you kinda, is it just learning on the fly? Uh, really just learn on the fly, you know. Um, obviously played against Shaq before and, like you said, played with Langston and James. But, you know, it's just it's just, it's always a little different. I mean, it's, you know, James and uh, Shaq just never, never had anything organized with us before ever, um, just like Langston in the previous game. So um, it was a little weird, but, you know, I, I like how hard they played um, and, and what they did, like how hard everybody played. It was, it was great to see. Uh, Blake, uh, can you describe the sort of mental fortitude that it takes you guys to get through this period and how much uncertainty is there about guys coming back on different schedules and then eventually trying to fit in Kyrie as a part-time player? Um, I mean, you know, this is what we do. We go, we play basketball, you know, whether it's eight guys or 14 guys or whatever it is. Um, so, you know, we looked at it as just a good opportunity for us. Um, but, you know, as far as when, when everybody comes back, we'll take bodies, as, you know, as many bodies as we can. Um, when Kai comes back, we'll obviously welcome him back. We're excited to have him back. So, um, you know, we'll kind of cross that bridge when it comes to it. Right now, it's just too much of too much chaos to, like, worry about anything else in the future that we can't control at the moment, you know. On the chaos, just how wild is it where guys could be warming up, pulled off? We saw a little bit of it a season ago, but just the chaos that you just spoke of, how wild is it from a player's perspective? Yeah, it's just it's just crazy because, like, uh, Dayron was with us, you know, for this entire week. So you kind of feel like, all right, everybody's, we're all good. Like, you know, it happened to Kevin. We weren't really sure what happened. And then, you know, Day Day's with us this morning. He's even here this afternoon, and then I walk back into the locker room, and they're like, "Day Day got pulled." It's almost like you got, you know, you get pulled out of class, and uh, everybody's kind of like, "Oh, <laughs> I, it's just crazy, man." I don't, I don't know how to like really describe it. It's just we. Just, I feel like you just walk in the locker room, you just kind of look at everybody, and you just laugh, and then you just move on. Last one, Bruce. Like, what kind of pride do you take? in your professionalism and staying ready and getting the opportunity. Sure. Um, this is my job, you know, um, I wish I could have done, you know, more in the second half tonight. I mean, obviously, you know, it's like you do all that stuff to, to stay ready and then, um, you know, can't really be a hundred percent and, you know, in the second half. So uh, that's, that's frustrating, but you know, it, it would be more frustrating if I didn't stay ready. Um, and I, you know, I wasn't there for my teammates cause you know, when, when everybody's there for each other. So, um, that's the mentality we got to have all season. Thanks, Thanks guys.